Hello friends. So today we are going to discuss about the relationship between stress and strain for three dimensional system of subject mechanics of solid MOS. Okay. So in the previous lectures we have discussed about the properties of material or mechanical properties of material classification of material according to structural point of view. Then we have seen the concept of stress, concept of strain. After we have discussed about the stress strain relationship between uh, single dimension system, we have seen Hooke's law, what is Hooke's law, we have seen Poisson's ratio. Also, we have discussed about the stress strain relationship between two dimensional system or two dimensional system. So, today we are going to see the relationship between stress and strain for a three dimensional system. Presentation of relationship between stress and strain or three dimensional system. So, before going to discuss about the relationship between three dimensional for stress and strain for three dimensional system, so we will see just we will make a revision for one dimensional system what is the relationship. So here, what is the relation? Capital E, that is, Young's modulus of elasticity is equals to stress upon strain. Is the relationship between stress and strain for one-dimensional system? So why? On which it is depends? So it is depends upon Hooke's law. So what Hooke's law states? Hooke's law states that when a material is loaded within the elastic limit, the stress is proportional to the strain produced by the stress. This means that the ratio of normal stress to the corresponding strain is a constant within the elastic limit. Is a constant within the elastic limit. So the ratio of stress to the corresponding strain is constant, and it is within the elastic limit only. It is within the elastic limit. Elastic limit. So this constant is represented by capital E, and it is known as modulus of elasticity or Young's modulus of elasticity. Modulus of elasticity or Young's modulus of elasticity. So that constant, so mathematically, constant is equal to normal stress to the corresponding strain. So mathematically, it is represented as capital E, that is modulus of elasticity, Young's modulus of elasticity, of uh, is equals to is equals to sigma upon E, that is sigma represents normal stress and E represents corresponding strain. Sigma is equal to normal stress, E is equal to strain, capital E is equal to Young's modulus or modulus of elasticity. Young's modulus or modulus of elasticity. So it can be written as also, it can be written as E is equal to that is strain is equal to sigma upon sigma upon E, capital E, that is strain is equal to stress upon Young's modulus of elasticity. Modulus of elasticity. So the above equation gives the stress strain relationship for normal stress in one direction system or one dimensional system, one dimensional model. So this is the relationship between stress and strain for one dimensional system. So similarly we will see for the three dimensional system. So what is the relationship between three dimensional system for stress and strain? So relationship of stresses, stress and strain for three dimensional system of the body. So here you can see in this image. A uh, block is there, three dimensional body you can see here, and that body is having a stress sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 1 is along x axis, sigma 2 is along y axis, and sigma 3 is along z axis. Okay, so similarly, the stress is there on the body from all the sides, from all the sides on the system, on all the sides of the system, or on, on the body we can say, on the body we can see. So here we can see, so let us consider the three dimensional body is subjected to three orthogonal normal stresses. Sigma 1, Sigma 2 and Sigma 3 are the normal stresses. Three orthogonal normal stresses. Sigma 1, Sigma 2, Sigma 3. Acting in the direction of X, Y and Z respectively. So Sigma 1 is acting in the direction of X, Sigma 2 is acting in the direction of Y, Sigma 3 is acting in the direction of Z. Okay. So here sigma 1 is normal stress in x direction, 
सिग्मा टू इज नॉर्मल स्पेस इन वाई डिरेक्शन सिग्मा थ्री इज नॉर्मल स्पेस इन जेड डिरेक्शन ठीक सो दिस इज द नोटेशन वी हैव यूज हियर फॉर द स्ट्रेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट विल डू विल कंसिडर द स्ट्रेन प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई ईच स्ट्रेस सेपरेटली सो वॉट हैपन्स इन दिस बॉडी सो ड्यू टू सिग्मा वन देर विल बी सम स्ट्रेन इन द बॉडी ड्यू टू सिग्मा टू देर विल बी सम स्ट्रेन इन द बॉडी सिमिलरली ड्यू टू सिग्मा थ्री ऑल्सो देर विल बी सम स्ट्रेन इन द बॉडी strain means deformation deformation will be due to, to some stresses so these three stresses are there due to these three stresses each stress there will be some deformation that is there will be some strains developed strain developed in the body so we will discuss so consider the strain produced by each stress separately so first of all we will see the strain produced due to sigma 1 stress due to sigma 1 even in you can use the notation sigma x also here you can use the notation sigma x also because this is the volume volumetric strain volumetric strain we are we, we are really going to we are going to calculate the volumetric strain so sigma x also you can give the notification but i have used here sigma 1 here we'll see the stress sigma 1 will produce strain in each in the direction of x and also in the direction of y and z so the stress will the stress sigma 1 will produce strain in direction of x first that will be longitudinal strain and also in the direction of y and z that will be lateral strain so already we have discussed what is meant by longitudinal strain and what is meant by lateral strain the strain in the direction of x will be longitudinal strain and it will be equals to sigma 1 upon capital e that is stress in x direction divided by x modulus of elasticity Will be the strain in x direction, that is longitudinal strain, whereas strain in the y and z direction will be lateral strain and will be equals to minus mu multiplied by sigma one upon e. Okay, so sigma one is the stress produced in x direction, e is the modulus of elasticity, and where mu is the Poisson's ratio. Mu is the Poisson's ratio. So why we have used here minus n because it is opposite to the longitudinal strain. Because it is opposite to the longitudinal strain. This is lateral strain. So that's why we have used here minus n. So since lateral strain is equals to minus mu into longitudinal strain, we know this relation. That's why here minus n comes. Okay. So this is the stress produced due to sigma one stress. Sorry, strain produced due to sigma one. That is sigma one upon e in x direction and in y and z each direction. Minus mu into sigma one upon e will be the strain. Similarly, in the next slide, now we will now we will consider the strain produced by stress sigma two that is in y direction. So when the stress will be there in y direction, stress will be there in y direction. So strain will be produced in another two directions, lateral directions. So strain produced due to sigma two in y direction will be longitudinal strain. Will be longitudinal strain, and in other two direction it will be lateral strain. So here the stress sigma two will produce strain in the direction of y and also in the direction of x and z. So the strain produced in y direction will be longitudinal strain, and strain produced in x and z direction will be lateral strain. So here, the strain in the direction of y will be longitudinal strain and will be equals to sigma two upon e. So stress strain produced due to sigma two will be sigma two upon e. That is stress in y direction divided by tens modulus of elasticity, whereas The strain in the x and z direction will be lateral strain and will be equals to minus mu into sigma two upon capital E in each direction, in each lateral direction. Okay. So here again, mu is the Poisson's ratio. Sigma two is the stress in y direction, and even you can write down the notation here sigma y also. And E is the modulus of elasticity. Hence, modulus of elastic. City. So here we are going to calculate, or we are going to find out the relationship between stress and strain. 
So E1 is the strain in x, x direction, E2 is the strain in y direction, and E3 is the strain in z direction. So total strain in x direction, total strain in y direction, total strain in z direction. Even you can use an ex, ey, and ez also for the notification. But I have used an e1, e2, and e3. So see, e1 is the stress strain produced in x direction, total strain produced in x direction. Similarly, so this is the strain produced due to sigma 2, due to sigma 2, or stress in the y direction, stress in the y direction. Similarly, in the next slide, now here what we do, we will consider here the stress produced, strain produced due to sigma 3, strain produced due to sigma 3, that is in y, z direction, that is in y, z direction. So when the stress will be there in z direction, there will be lateral strain in sigma 2 and sigma 1 direction, that is x and y direction, that is x and y direction. So the stress sigma 3 will produce strain in the direction of z and also in the direction of x and y x and y so here due to sigma 3 due to stress in z direction there will be strain produced in z direction first and that strain will be known as longitudinal strain and also the strain will be produced in produced in x and y direction also and that strain will be called as a lateral strain lateral strain so here the strain in the direction of y will be longitudinal strain and will be equals to sigma 3 upon capital E that is stress in z direction divided by n's modulus of elasticity whereas the strain in the x and z direction will be equals to lateral strain and will be equal to minus mu that is Poisson's ratio into sigma 3 upon capital E that is stress in z direction divided by n's modulus of elasticity in each direction okay so this will be the stress produced in x and z due to sigma 3 okay so this is again here what we are going to find out is relationship between stress and strain. So E1 is the total strain in x direction, E2 is the total strain in y direction, E3 is the total strain in z direction. So now what we have did is, we have calculated strain due produced due to this sigma 1 in x direction as well as y and z direction. Strain produced in due to sigma 2 that is longitudinal strain in y direction lateral strain in x and z direction. Similarly, stress strain produced due to stress sigma 3 that in z direction there will be longitudinal strain and in the other two direction that is lateral strain in y and y and x direction. So now we have found out seen the stresses strains due to stresses in each direction for three dimensional system. Now here total strain now total strain in the direction of x due to stresses sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3. So due to sigma 1 there will be strain in all direction x, y, z. So first longitudinal strain so strain produced in x direction will be equals to sigma 1 upon e that is sigma 1 is the stress in x direction divided by n's modulus of elasticity minus other two directions mu that is Poisson's ratio into sigma 2 that is stress in y direction divided by n's modulus of elasticity minus mu into sigma 3 stress in z direction divided by n's modulus of elasticity. So this is the equation or the strain developed due to sigma 1 or due to uh, or in direction of x. So this is the strain, total strain developed in the direction of x. So here you can write down this is the E1. E1 is the sigma 1 upon capital E minus mu into sigma 2 upon capital E minus mu into sigma 3 upon capital E. So this is the total strain in 
x direction so you can write down you can use the notation k e1 or ex so what we have used is we have used that e1 so total strain in x direction is equal to this equation we have found out okay now similarly total strain in y direction due to the stresses sigma 1 sigma 2 and sigma 3 so here e2 total strain in y direction is equals to sigma 2 upon e so sigma 2 is the stress in y direction that is longitudinal direction stress in y direction minus mu into sigma 3 that is stress in z direction divided by e minus mu into sigma 1 upon e that is sigma 1 is stress in x direction divided by e that is x modulus of elasticity so this is the total strain in y direction so e2 total strain in y direction similarly total strain in the direction of z due to stresses sigma 1 sigma 2 and sigma 3 actually it should be z so this is the total strain due to x in x direction this is total strain in y direction and this is total strain in uh, z direction due to stress sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 so e3 is equals to sigma 3 upon e minus mu into sigma 1 upon e minus mu into sigma 2 upon e so this is the relation for e3 or strain produced in z direction strain produced in z direction so this is the equations three equations we have found out in the body this due to the stress strains are developed due to the stress strains are developed in x in y and in z direction so these are the three equations we have found out for three dimensional system here you can see e1 is equals to sigma 1 upon e minus mu into sigma 2 upon e minus mu into sigma 3 upon e that is total strain in first one e1 one direction that is in x direction e2 is equals to sigma 2 upon e is the longitudinal strain minus mu into sigma 3 upon e minus mu into sigma 1 upon e so this is e2 and e3 is equal to sigma 3 upon e minus mu that is Poisson's ratio into sigma 1 upon e minus mu into sigma 2 upon e so this is the total strain developed in x as well as in y as well as in z direction so these are the total strain developed in all the three directions so this, that's why this is the three dimensional system stress strain relationship between three dimensional system so the above three equation gives the stress strain relationship for the three dimensional stress system three dimensional stress system okay so as we have seen in the previous classes one dimensional system stress strain relationship between one dimensional system stress strain relationship between two dimensional system and stress strain relationship between three dimensional system so this is the three dimensional system relationship for stress and strain thank you